Hi everyone, this is a mixture problem. A pharmacist needs 500 milliliters of a 20% phenobarbital solution but has only 5% and 25% phenobarbital solutions available. So we need to find out how many milliliters of each she should mix to get the desired solution. Um, there are several different ways to do these. One approach that I take actually uses buckets, but I'll go ahead and do it the chart using the charts. Um, a lot of textbooks like to use charts and whatnot. So how we're going to set this up is we're comparing three things. We're comparing a 5% solution, a 25% solution, and a 20% solution. I like to set up my, my columns where I have an amount, so strictly amounts in milliliters, my percents, which I'll write in decimals, and then my pure column, which I'll get into in a minute. So for the amount, and I'll do this with two variables if, I, if you don't mind, we don't know our original amount going at 5%, so I'm going to call that x. I also don't know the original amount going at 25%, so I'll call that y. But I do know that in the end, we're looking at she needs 500 milliliters, so I'll put 500 in there. Now for my percents, it's basically, I'm looking at them, 5, 25, and 20, but let's write them as decimals, so 0 0.05 for 5%, 0 0.25 for, <coughs> excuse me, my 25%, and 0.2 for my 20%. As for the amount, amount pure, that is going to be these two column, these two cells multiplied together. So for the 5%, that's going to be 0.05x. For the 25%, that's going to be, you guessed it, 0.25y. As for the pure here over here, for the 20%, that's going to be 0 0.2 times 500. And just in case you're not sure what that is, I got a little calculator here. We can calculate it. 500 times 0 0.2 is 100. Good old Google calculators, right? All right. So what we're going to get now are two equations here. So let me set them up as a system of equations using my little equation editor in Word. The first equation is going to be this first column, x plus y equals 500, just like that. The second equation, it's going to be the third column, point zero five x plus point two five y equals 100. Those are the two equations that we're going to be using to solve. Now, what I would do is multiply that second equation through by 100 to get rid of the decimal. Not a huge fan of working with decimals. I mean, if you like working with decimals, knock yourself out. I'm not particularly that thrilled about using them. Some people like working with them because they like, you know, you can use a calculator and all, but eh, calculators are overrated, even though I've got one over here. So multiplying through by 100, 0 0.05x times 100 is 5x, 0.25y times 100 is 25y, and 100, you got to multiply the 100 by 100. That's going to be a 1 followed by 4 zeros. In other words, 10,000. Okay, so now that we've got that, I'm going to massage that second equation still some more. Um, see how every term in there is divisible by 5? Yeah, I'm going to divide everything by a 5 as well. Just trying to make things a little bit easier on myself is all. So the first equation, not changing anything, I'll go x plus y equals 500. And the second equation, let's divide by, you know what, I'm going to divide by a negative 5, and I'll explain why in a minute. So 5x divided by negative 5 is a negative x. 25y divided by a negative 5 is a negative 5y. And 10,000 divided by a negative 5 is a negative 2,000. So, 
Why did I divide by a negative 5? It was so that I could get a negative x right here. See how if I add these two equations together straight up, I'm going to lose my, uh, using elimination, I'm going to lose my x value there, my x variable. And that's what I was trying to get. So x minus x, that drops out. y minus 5y is going to be a negative 4y. And then 500 minus 2,000 is going to be a negative 1,500, right? So we'll divide by, we'll take 1,500 here. Uh, 1,500 divided by 4 equals 375. So my y value is, my y value is going to equal 375 milliliters and that's of 25% phenobarbital. As for the rest of it, well, remember that x plus y equals 500? Well, let's plug it in. x plus my y, which I now have, of 375 equals 500. If you solve for x, that's what, 125? One hundred twenty five milliliters at five percent. And that is how to solve this problem.